This is Twit. Okay, so more Microsoft news. Yesterday, uh, they announced the newest build of Windows 10 that yes. includes the Spartan browser, and it's only for Windows insiders. Um, so the Spartan browser is going to replace Internet Explorer? Not exactly. How, how's that going to work? Yeah, there's a huge controversy about this. So IE is no longer their main browser. Spartan will be the browser going forward. But for legacy corporations like enterprises, you have to have IE support. So they'll keep developing IE. It'll ship with Windows 10. But it'll be in the background. You can turn it on, but it's on by default. So it's not dead, it's just not quite alive. It's kind of like Schrodinger's browser, if you will. And then you have to kind of like decide for yourself. But certainly it's not going to be gone entirely, but Spartan is the future. Right. So we know Spartan will include integration with Cortana, the digital assistant. Um, what else is it going to be able to do? It's really designed to handle the modern web as fast as possible. If you go back to when Chrome came out, it was a really lightweight, low bloat, fast browser. And in some ways, I feel like Microsoft is trying to kind of replicate that initial success with its own bells and whistles, like Cortana. Um, they've been talking about read mode, they've been talking about just other small things they've built in. I think that it's still premature to decide if we're going to use it because it's really, really, really early beta stuff. But I mean, I think impressions have been overall strong and the clean UI has been praised. But, you know, it's a long way from taking back market from Chrome. So it's kind of a wait and see, but certainly a maybe optimistic one. Right, so it'll be faster, more reliable. Have they said anything about it being more secure than Internet Explorer? Yeah, I talked to the team about this, and I, I talked about security a little bit, and they kind of referred to it, I think, I believe, as table stakes, as in, like, you have to nail security. That can't be a selling point. It has to be just completely secure, and it has to protect all its users, or it doesn't mean anything. So I think they view security under the rubric of, like, if we don't get this right, we have no chance to win anywhere else. And so certainly it's a high priority for them. So do they expect to, um, are they still going to be updating Internet Explorer? Do you know? I mean, yeah, I mean, they can't let it go because so many legacy corporations that are paying customers of the company depend on that to run legacy software. And so when you're that big of a corporation, you can't just cut something off and throw it away. You have to support it for years and years and years. So we'll see IE 11, maybe in IE 12. Um, but I mean, it's no longer the main focus. The company is certainly moving resources over to Spartan to make that its larger push. Yeah, it'll be interesting. I mean, a lot of people hated Internet Explorer, including yeah, me. Mo most, most of them. Um, which is too bad because the team really over there got their stuff together towards the end and really made improvements. It was just too late. I mean, if they started that process back before they gave us IE 7, 8, and 9, you know, it may have been a little different, but it was just a little late. And I think they're doing the, I think the smart thing by cutting their losses and just moving on. I mean, could you really save that brand? Do you want to? Right. Uh, the answer is I don't think so. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. I know you said it's hard to tell, it's not finished, but I wonder if it really is too late, even for something new. I mean, I, I just wonder if people are really going to switch over from Chrome. Well, they have an advantage, though. It'll ship with Windows 10, and they're going to bring everyone from 7 and 8 to 10. So they have the potential, if it's very good, to get a lot of users on the upgrade cycle. If people say, this is better than Chrome, I'll use this instead of Chrome or instead of Firefox or you know, whatever you want to use, like Max Thon, whatever. Um, but I mean, you're right. I mean, they have a, certainly have a deficit to get through, but you can solve that with great products. And no matter how large you are, how bad your brand is in certain areas, if you build awesome stuff, people will use it. And so it's quality game. If they can build something that good, they'll win. If they can't, well, it'll be about the same as where they are now. Right. It's interesting because, I mean, I don't think Safari is that great, but I don't see Apple rushing to replace it <laughs> with something better. Safari I mean, is terrible. iTunes, iTunes is the worst piece of software written for Windows, I think, ever. Um, but it doesn't matter because they just have a lock on that part of the market. Right. And we all use Spotify now anyway, so who really cares? <laughs> exactly. Except for if you want to listen to Taylor Swift. Right. And that's what we have YouTube. Thank you, Google. Right.